Everybody, welcome back. Well, there's a channel. Kozlik might come back, and that's all I need to know. Yeah, we're definitely taking channel. I mean, channel's pretty close to power, in my esteemed opinion. I feel like we've taken channel quite a bit. I feel like we've cast things off of channel less than we've taken channel. And I still don't really see a reason to stop taking channel. So, you know. You first pick channel, you kind of want a Gilded Goose, right? Nothing else in here seems encouraging. I think Goose is probably better than Pilgrim. I can't wait to eat a Thanksgiving sandwich. What is a Thanksgiving sandwich? I'm just kidding, I know what a Thanksgiving sandwich is. It was just a funny way to say it. Oh, Ulamog? You know what? I will take an Ulamog. I like a Sylvan Library too. But I don't want to get left out in the, in the channel cold. Ulamog also gives us a pretty... Uh... You know what? I don't know. I can't wait for Super Fritz to make me the best Thanksgiving sandwich of all time. Is that a thing? Is it My, my way music is from Fallout 4. It's the Fallout 4 original score. Also, being able to cast Ulamog off of channel is pretty nice because then you can just get to... Uh, Ugin? Natural order. Elder Gargroth? Shoot, our green deck is looking juicy right now, boy. I think it's natural order because I think we can get a better uh, Ugin effect. But natural order gives us another avenue of victory. Eh, Finale's fine. Thrag Tusk is okay. I'm going to take Finale. I don't love it. We also could have that Kozilek come back as well. Or a Fellows. Jesus. Alright, we're just living the dream here. The only cards we're looking for is like, if we if we we could be blue because of like Spellseeker could help us get Channel. We could be red because we could through the Breach, but right now. <sighs> Eternal Witness or Search for Tomorrow? I like Eternal Witness better. It's another creature to uh, to a, to natural order. Yeah, if you have four green, you can still definitely channel Finale. And that's actually a reasonable win condition because all your creatures get plus 10, plus 10. Creatures get plus 10, plus 10 in haste. So if you have like two guys out, it's like, well, you're dead. Wall of Roots? Sure, you want that ramp. The only time I've ever eaten cranberry sauce. Yeah, the funny thing about that is I have no idea how the cranberry sauce industry actually sustains itself. Like, throughout the year. I'm pretty sure, like, maybe, like, a few holidays. But also, like, I genuinely can't get enough of the cranberry sauce in the can. Alright, Avenger of Zendikar, sure. Kozilek didn't come back. But Avenger did. And that's still pretty good. That's a pretty good natural order target. It's not like these are companies that just make cranberry. Maybe that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. Ocean Spray definitely has... They got their hands on all the cranberries, you know? They probably produced all the cans 50. Yeah, they're just, they're just still going through them. Yeah, for my money, like, there's nothing better than, like, the canned... The cranberry sauce that comes out of the jar, or the can rather, and it's like, it's in the cylinder. It's the cylinder gel cranberry sauce. Like, that's the best, dude. How did Storm go? No bueno.
Hmm. Elder Gargaroth came back? Also a solid gentleman to ramp into. Thraggy boy! Alright, so this is in a solid 11 cards with a solid 12th card in the sideboard. You know, even this guy is definitely playable. You're not... It's my puppo's birthday. Her name is Kina and she's two years old. Kina, happy birthday. I hope you see this. I hope you got lots of treats. Oh, what up, Dillon Mace? That stuff in the can is literally just sugar and gelatin with a tiny bit of cranberry juice. I'm not sure what you're I'm not sure what you're trying to communicate here. Every day I'm happy drum lost. Well, he does keep reminding us of it, doesn't he? I don't love Fast Bond. Maybe we're a Fast Bond deck. And we can get uh, Oracle and stuff. I'm going to take it. I think the upside is higher. Oh, Finhorn Elves. Okie dokie. Second picking of Finhorn Elves is not where you want to be. But sometimes it's where you have to be. I'll take a nice slice of canned cranberry sauce on my sandwich. <laughs> Solid dance. I always knew you had class. Everflowing Chalice? Don't really care about you. Lotus Petal? No. Tropical Island keeps us open. I actually don't love Terastodon. But it could be a fine guy to get. Let's, let's Terastodon. I mean, to be fair, Dylan, like... Most cranberries in general are just are just sugar anyway, right? Like an actual, if it's actual cranberries in the sauce, then it's like, well, this is still mostly sugar anyway. There he is. There's the card I was guaranteed to get. Oh my god, why? All right, so now we got the natural order and the crater hoof. Sounds good. I'm not even surprised anymore. Like if I'm if I'm if if I'm getting past like things like Rafellos and Natural Order, I'm just I know I'm gonna get this card because no one's taking green whatsoever. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow I'll miss you. Oh, Draga Tree Speaker. Also Opposition. Dang it. I think it's Tree Speaker here. I don't think we need to go into green here. Or a blue, rather. I think the blue is going to gum up the deck a whole bunch. Wow, Crucible and Ramunap in the same pack? Considering I have Finale, I'm actually kind of not super concerned with Green Sun. Actually, out of most fruit cranberries, have the lowest sugar con. God, listen to you. Listen to you. He literally just cranberry explained us. But actually, I'm tempted to take the excavator in case we just get like. Nah, eh, I'm taking green sun. <laughs> Noble hierarch. That's good, too. I think Noble Hierarch is better than Avacyn. Gary! Yep, alright. I would like... We've seen Ugin and Kozilek go by. I would like the other Ulamog or an Emrakul. No, they're tart because they suck. God damn. Yeah, I'll take Deranged Tournament. Oh, I like putting Omnath in our deck and then getting it with Green Sun Zenith. Sure, I'll take a Primal Command. Lotus Cobra? That guy's playable. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, okay. Actually, we'll take the Raging Ravine.
Yeah, I don't think there's a single other player drafting here, so... Did I say drafting? I meant drafting green. I don't know why I said just drafting by itself. Boo -do -do -do, -do 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 -do. All right, still nothing big. This pack's pretty bad for us. I guess biogenic ooze is fine. Sword could be decent. I'm gonna take the ooze. Come on, Emrakul, one time. One time or another. Gotta find it. Oh, oh, get you, get you, get you. Ah, yeah. You guys know the song. Okay, we got Rex Age. I do like a Rex Age a lot. We got Oracle. Got Metamorpho. I kind of think it's Sage 2. I just think we don't have that effect yet, and I, I think it's really good. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't think it's Oracle here. Oh, Prime Time? <laughs> okay. Sure. Like, every time I don't have Rex Sage, I, I'm always losing the cards that Rex Sage would easily kill. Courser seems good. Oh, I like Turn Timber Symbiosis. I also like Acidic Slime. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's I think it's Turn Timber here. Being able to hit Crater Hoof or Ulamog or Primetime or Avenger seems pretty good. Plow under? Jeez. It's gotta be plow under. We can definitely plow under pretty quickly here. Courser of Krufy. Oh my god, that's a throwback. That's shocking. Hey, we did get a wasteland. Not exactly a strip mine. I think I like scavenging use for the sideboard. Eh, I'll just take sword here. Man, it's really sad we only got Ulmog. I guess we do have Green Sun. If we have three green, we can easily channel into Green Sun. Get Primeval Avenger, but... I mean, our three... These three green cards are great for Green Sun, Natural Order, and Channel, so. I mean, we did pass Kozilek to get the channel, and we also passed, uh... Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, boy. That's kind of ridiculous. Do you have a time in mind to do the colors? Indominus, I'm probably going to do it as soon as the cube ends, because I don't like taking... I, I, don't, I don't really like doing things other than cube when cube is up, because it's so limited. And it's literally my favorite format ever, so. Um, we could. Tr I was trying to do it tomorrow afternoon, maybe? If that works for you.
Oh, the acidic slime came back too, because of course it did. The Nissa came back as well. Wow. Oh boy. Well, we're definitely a 16 land deck. That's wild. I don't think we care about deranged hermit. I think I think biogenic ooze is almost a, is like a better deranged hermit. That's just insane. Oh, uh, we could probably also cut Pelucranos. He's not super exciting, especially when we have like Gargaroth. Everything else seems great. Wow, this is the, this is a very easy deck to build. Oh my god, this is wild. Just don't even understand how like Acidic Slime, Oracle of Moldiah, and Nissa all table. Oh my god, thank you. I literally forget this every time. Our sideboard looks amazing, right? Like we have Terastodon. Actually, Terastodon's pretty good. Dude, John, thank you, buddy. I definitely would have forgotten. This deck is so good, which means you probably want Jirani lands or only red lands, which you didn't put in the deck. <laughs> Why do I have so many mountains? A minute and 35 seconds to find a match? This is actually pretty crazy. This is wild. I've never actually had a cube queue this long. It makes me want to queue queue is what, what I'm what I want to do. I wonder if we're having trouble with the update. It's very possible. I had to like uninstall, then reinstall, then like figure out how to actually like set it up. It was just a whole to do, man. Oh my god, what's the hold up? I'm just gonna pause until we get the matchup. Guys, we did it, we found a match. Oh, that's pretty good. We're definitely keeping this hand. Oh boy. That's fine. A cucumber? I'll see myself out. Solid choice, Amy. Solid choice. Green soul ring.
Are they considering whether they, they're like, do I force of negation this? Oh man, there's that there's that Sylvan Library I wanted real bad. Well, in a perfect world, we're gonna be able to play turn three Primeval Titan. Hmm. Or we can plow them. You know, I will waste that one mana. I will waste it. God, do we prime or, do we prime or plow? That's the question. Prime or plow? I don't actually know. These are not decisions I feel comfortable making. You'd like to plow them, wouldn't you? I really would. I think it's a great use of resources, you know? Oh, they kept a card? They went to 16. Phantasmal image. Copy Noble Hierarch. What are the odds they don't have a third mana? Land. Third land, not a third mana. Who calls it mana? I mean, Plow doesn't feel that awkward because they're still losing two mana. Like, I do actually kind of think it's prime time here. Especially since they can't really do anything about it this turn. This also gives us uh, Ulamog mana next turn if we just get to keep our dudes up. Because this is what, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 if they get rid of one of our creatures. So we still have... No, Primetime lets us Ulamog next turn. Oh yeah, because you weren't considering Cradle. Got it. Before we can call him a man... The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Oh my god. Oh, Bloodbraid into Zergo? That's not gonna that's that's not gonna do. No 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 no. Oh, we're gonna be slapping here. Three Okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Yep. That's a dude, all right. We got Green Sun in here, right? Oh, yeah. Boy, that's really something. I'm going to keep it. Anyone land lets us play uh... well, I guess we need two lands, don't we? Okay, we got one. Courser would be Courser into land. Let's do that. <laughs> don't kill. Don't. Don't. Oh, second. Hmm, two, huh? How about Rex Age? Prime time. Not ideal. Oh. 
Interesting. They're at 11? Do they draw two? Oh, good gravy. Land, 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 land. Oolamog, Oolamog, land, 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 Oolamog. Actually, maybe we just play... Let's just play Ewit, because I want to be able to block the Rabble Master here, so... I mean, I feel like this is the turn they're going to go Blood Braid Elf, attack with everything, kill our Eternal Witness, so it's going to be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's pretty good. Here it goes. And... Littering and... Smoking the reefer. Hmm. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Well, we're not dead yet. Pretty good. It's pretty good. So you kill this. Take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's pretty good. We're just gonna go to the next game. Like even drawing channel here doesn't do anything. We just can't win the game if we don't have anything to play. Alright. Alright, let's look for a nice distribution. Um, of lands and spells. play first uh snap keep this this seems pretty good now we just have to decide if it, i think wall of roots is a safer play because it doesn't die yeah we also don't oh we also we have turn timber to play next turn so Does Caleb still play music? I actually didn't know if he did or not. So. Oh, get to the chopper. One, two, Lotus Cobra, land. Tap, tap, tap. I wonder if we can go get a Raffellos here. I mean, we can. Like, we can go Cobra, Symbiosis, Green Sun for three. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five. And then next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. That seems pretty decent. I have not done the step with Katie and Mike yet. No, it's really hard to it's really hard to coordinate. Unfortunately, I mean the alternative is just playing Oracle, which is also pretty good. I mean, we could get a free land, but
why this is taking so long. Okay, play. Yes. Got a green. Cut. So they just cast a light at the stage. They got two one drops here. Huh. Yes. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. We're like one away from casting Avenger here. That's kind of sad. One, two, three. This is not forest, right? Okay. One, two, three. Thank you. Four, five, four, five. Oh, we're over two away. So I don't feel as bad, I guess. Might have been better just play Avenger, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six. We would have had to play the land first. Phil, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate 20 months. That's almost a year. God, we're getting there. You're getting real close. Big grabs. Oh, this is interesting. They can actually make a token and then copter it. If Cradle is under Garrick, I think we win. Do we win anyway? Is it possible to just win anyway? They're at 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like, we can cast Crater Hoof for... Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This is 21 damage. They're just dead. Yeah, even without a land under Garrick, we just win. Is it turn 5? You got it. <laughs> but Cradle's under there anyway. <laughs> oh, so that actually, that's pretty good, because that means we don't have to... Now we can just attack with our fellows instead. Actually, can we play Avenger first? Nah, it doesn't matter. Oh, we could have played Garrick and untapped, but... Okay, doesn't matter. Wow, it was under there the whole time. The Garrick was in our hearts the whole time. paused it and then immediately the round popped so i was thinking when i mentioned cradle that it doesn't let you cast both avenger and hoof i didn't realize they were just yeah hoof just you don't need you don't need avenger when you got hoof 
I'm going to keep this. Natural order seems very good here. Yeah, I don't care about that. I assume they're going to play a Danto Vanguard next turn. Okay, a different 3-1. I <sighs> wish I had a play, but that's okay. Corsair seems pretty good against them. Yeah, that's fine. Fashionable way to the party. Oh! Oh, we're going to do it next turn, boys. Oh, they get to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> Oh yeah, get that pro in there. We just have to make sure not to die though. Because that's bad. Dying is no no bueno. We go to eleven. Little we'll costs about nine. Because we can go three for channel, one extra, so we only pay nine. We go to two. We gotta get rid of mom and Vryn. We have two blockers. We go block, block, we take one. Huh. But, I mean, we're here to win, right? So... I mean, if they have path, we're dead. Sure. Okay. Uh, if we hit Vroom to bring Raz, if we leave if we leave Mom alive, they give us pro. I guess we could have gotten rid of the the Brimaz. I don't think it makes a difference, but all right, still alive. So now we can natural order this guy and get what? Like Avenger. Wait, can we go Tree Speaker into Hoof? How much is damage is that? 5, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20 26 damage. Unfortunately, <laughs> they can block 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, Hmm. I mean, Ooze gives us two blockers, and then next turn we can natural order. Wait, 26 minus... So it's, it's 15, 17, plus 9. That's 26. Okay, so we're dealing 26, so they have to block 8. They can block 1... Two, three, f this is this is five, because he makes a guy. Five, six, seven, eight, plus they're gaining one life. And they can also sack selfless spirit. 
Hook, hook gives trample though, right? So if they sack selfless spirit, they die. Right? Like I'm not crazy, right? I think it's still correct. I think this is right. Right as rain. That should be smaller. Don't have path. They have one card. The lifelink we've accounted for. Right? They still have to block with everything to go to one. That's the that's the whole point. We're one damage short from killing them, but they still have to block with everything. And if they sack with selfless spirit, then it tramples over and they don't actually they don't win. <laughs> oh, they're not blocking with the other guy. Uh, doesn't this kill them? <laughs> so bold strategy, Cotton. Let's wow. see if it pays off for him. Sunlance is a sorcery, my dude. Sunlance is not the answer. I don't think we're sideboarding anything. I kind of like I kind of like Thrag Tusk, but I don't think it's necessarily better than anything else we have. Math is for blockers. They're just like, ah, who's got the time? Well. I'm still going to keep this on the draw when they mold a six. Man, they have both of them in their deck, eh? You creeping in here? Creeping. Okay. Are you folding clothes? No, I'm taking the crown. Okay. Come on, Olamog. Dang it, acidic slime. It's not the same at all. I mean, they have no pressure, though, so that's that's fine. Less fine, but still doesn't do much. And if we kill this, like Mana Vault's going to... Yeah, that was actually fine. <laughs> Would you like to use this ability? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, 
this seems like a really easy block. Against a mono green deck? Sure. This is a weird choice. They just have both their lands with Winter Orb out? Yeah, I'm telling you, Rexage is OP. Like, you always want a Rexage effect in your deck, especially when it costs three. Like, it's just very good. Because, like, if we had to wait for Acidic Slime, like, it's just... It's not as good. Oh, so next time we just get to channel Ulmog. That's actually pretty good. Seems fine. Holiday room. Land? Sure. Well, we don't have the mana to channel. We don't have the life to natural or and Ulmog this turn. <laughs> We need we would need twelve exactly, which is what we have, but we'd die. Hey, stop messing around, you kids. I think Wally and Little Man are playing. That's really cute. They have one card. It might even just be better to like I'm just going to tap all my mana. I don't really care. Not you, but you instead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of you and your land. Well, I'll get rid of a land because then they only get two, two mana next turn. Sure. Man, Ulamog OP. That don't impress on me much. Untap one. Okay, so he resolves. And by he resolves, I mean his trigger resolves and he gets in the red zone. Next turn, booze? No, I forgot orb. Yeah. Orb is pretty good. So their mana vault puts them to exactly 10, which means Ulmog is... Living ring. <laughs> well, you got to stay of execution, my dude. But now, they didn't tap their own, oh, well, they don't want to give us mana, I guess. Okie dokie. Man, where are my lands at? I mean, <laughs> they get to untap one thing and then tap all the things. Yeah, this seems fine. Like, this isn't really doing anything.
They have four cards in their deck. They have to win with four cards in their deck. That's See, that's kind of funny. Now you're, now you're dead, right? Okay. Okay. Well, we're doing it. We're living the, the mono green dream. Live by the mono green, die by the mono green. Oh yeah, snap keep. <laughs> this is also turn two Rufellos, right? We can go uh no. We're one mana shy. Okay, still pretty good though. It's still taking noble hierarch on one. Lotus Cobra on two. Could green sun into like a tree speaker. Just kidding. I mean, next time we can literally natural order to Primeval Titan, which is pretty good. I'm actually just going to get forests here because if they manage to get rid of Titan, we only have four mana. I'd rather have six. I mean, we have four instead of five or five instead of six, depending on if we play a forest. What's this? Seems good. And that's why we did not get Gaia's Cradle. I think I'd rather go to their red source than their colonnade here. At least we got rid of it. That's a good one. Cool. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Guy's Cradle into Green Sun for Crater Hoof. How about that? Still fine. Still leaves us live for good old fashioned. Thank you.
Dennis, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Let me guess, Mana Leak? Seems good. Okay. I mean, let's just hit land crater hoof and have them have nothing. I don't think that's a. I don't think I'm asking a lot. I think they took Cyclonic Rift out. I haven't seen Cyclonic Rift yet. I don't think. Impulse. Fascinating. <sighs> land. Okay, well, that's kind of like a land. Never don't have it. Cool. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's no crater hoof in there anyway, but. Okay. Good times. I think we can submit. I think our deck is good. This is a hand, all right. I am not above green sunning for a noble hierarch. Let's just play Courser next turn and try to hit a land. Sure. Man, that was a So now we get two shots at hitting lane. Whatever's on top, or we can Nissa try to hit another one. They we get Spencer. Of course. Try again. Hey, it worked. You okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't know. They just didn't play anything? That's weird. If they consecrated Sphinx here, it's just okay. They didn't do anything. Play land. Interesting. Let's. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seems good. Um, I 
So this is one, two, three, four. We've got to spend six. Can we just kill them with Crater Hoof this turn? I'm the green deck now. <laughs> I am the green deck now. Hmm. I think everything we have in the deck is fine for now. I don't think we need to change anything. Man, Crater has a hell Oh, this hand is bleh. This hand is very good. One, two, Wall of Roots, three mana. We can play Goose. It's definitely a turn three Plow Under, which is definitely a thing I... Mm, okay, it's still fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. That seems a significantly better card to plow under, but or to uh, Swords Splashers, but I feel like they get really greedy with their with their initial roll. They're always like, let's get rid of the first ramp creature they play. When the green decks in Q were more constructed in the sense that like they have a ton of redundancy. Channel did do the thing. Not on turn two, but still pretty good. play Mox with nothing else up. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Oh wow, that resolved. Oh yikes. They have three cards in hand. Sure. I mean, we haven't seen any sweepers yet in three games, so I'm not entirely sure about that. It seems fine. Let's just draw a hoof here. That's not exactly a hoof. Goof him and goof him. I'm working on it, man. Hit 
You have one. You can't force of negation this. Oh, they're going to force of will it. So they have two cards in hand. Yep. Oh, the Johnny. It's actually fine. <laughs> I mean, they got to kill her fellows here, but then they lose the Johnny, so it's a fair trade. What? Oh. Okay. Forest, though. Yeah, let's play forest here. Still two cards in hand. Actually, I don't even think I should have done that. I think I should have hard casted it. Oh, doesn't matter now. Right? Four. We did not need channel. I just like playing around things like Mana Leak. I think we just take out lands, to be honest. Yeah, I don't even care about the Banishing Light. Like, we don't need Primeval Titan if we have Ulamog in play. They have two cards. And like if they're two turns away from like if they have fractured identity and they're just waiting for a good target, like So now they're two turns away from that. Alright. Interesting change of pace. I think they probably drew something like a Venser, so they're going to probably... Is this Brazen Bar or Bouncing... Fellows. Eh, it doesn't really do anything. I guess we can crack some food. I 
And we're just going to draw natural order, right? So we have 10 mana, so we can go over fellows. Well, that was a good draw. It sure was. It sure was. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com if you guys are looking for an awesome Magic Online subscription service. Got a Torrential Gear Hulk right in time for Kaladesh Remastered, which is on MTG Arena. Not here. Either way, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.